It might feel like we are forever away from NFL football, but for the Dallas Cowboys and other teams around the league, offseason team activities have started up. So for the first time, we get to see the 2023 Dallas Cowboys take the field together. Here is everything you need to know from Cowboys OTAs, including how Tony Pollard and Terrence Steele are looking, and a big move that could be in store for one of the Cowboys high draft picks. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I was not in attendance for OTAs. These are reports from media members that are around the Dallas Cowboys. Michael Gelkin and Bobby Bell are two sources that I use to create this video. I will have both of their Twitter handles linked down below, so please go check them out. They do a lot of good work for the Cowboys. To get started, let's look at some Cowboys that were not seen on the field for voluntary OTAs. The list included cornerback Trayvon Diggs, defensive end Demarcus Lawrence, safety Malik Hooker, cornerback Jordan Lewis, nose tackle Jonathan Hankins, and punter Brian Anger. The reasons for their absences were not listed anywhere that I could find, but Trayvon Diggs is said to not be contract related, according to Michael Gelkin. Honestly, none of the guys that I listed are a major concern for not showing up. When I did see Trayvon Diggs' his name, I did think it would be contract related, but apparently not. While those guys might not have been there, let's check out some that were. One of the main things you can focus on during these practices since they are non-contact and mainly just shorts and shirts is how everyone is lining up. The Cowboys' first team offensive line looked like left tackle Tyler Smith, left guard Matt Farniok with Chuma Adoga rotating in, center Tyler Biotish, right guard Josh Ball, and right tackle Tyron Smith. Apparently, Tyler Smith did not play left guard, which means the team is focusing on him at left tackle. And for right now, Smith is at right tackle with Terrence Steele out with an injury. I know it's still early in camp, but it's going to be interesting if Tyron stays at right tackle, what they plan on doing with Terrence Steele once he's back healthy. If you're wondering why Josh Ball is at right guard, it's because Zach Martin did not participate in OTAs today. Not a major concern, he's a veteran guy that I don't think needs this work as much as a guy like Josh Ball. But some players we did see dressed and on the field was both Tony Pollard and Terrence Steele. Steele didn't participate at all and took mental reps, but Pollard did do a bit of jogging, which is about what we'd expect in his timeline of recovery from that brutal leg injury in the playoffs. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated as we get closer to training camp on Tony Pollard and his injury. For now, let's keep talking about the Cowboys offense. Although this is light work for the team, the Cowboys did hold a two minute seven on seven period at the end of practice. Wide receiver Michael Gallup caught two passes and according to Gelkin, Gallup appears to be moving more comfortably another year removed from his ACL surgery. In the two minute drill, Gallup almost had a touchdown but Stefan Gilmore broke up the pass in the end zone. It really feels good to hear reports about Gallup being back out there moving well and finding his way back to his normal self. I feel like that's going to be a major piece to the Cowboys having a good offense again in 2023. They really need Michael Gallup to be close to 100%. On the other hand, based on that report, Stefan Gilmore is already making plays. When those camp battles between Stefan Gilmore, CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup, and Trayvon Diggs start up, we're going to be checking out all of those videos on this channel. So if you're not, please make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss a single piece of Cowboys content. Now that we know that Stefan Gilmore was making plays, let's talk a little bit about what we saw from the defense. The Cowboys second round pick in 2021, Kelvin Joseph, worked with the safety group during activities which is intriguing to say the least. It seems like the team is doing its best to move him around and find out where he fits. Like I mentioned earlier, it's still super early into the process, but this seems like a last ditch effort to figure out if they can find a spot for Kelvin Joseph. I think he has the skill set to play where the team needs him. He's just got to figure it out and get some confidence. Keep an eye on Joseph. I think this is a major camp for him and he's going to have to earn his spot on this loaded Cowboys defense. To finish off the notes, let's look at the Cowboys' current kicker situation. They didn't bring anyone in, and the only kicker currently on the roster is Tristan Vizcaino. During today's OTAs, he went 7 of 9. He missed wide right from 37 and 51. And honestly, I'm not paying too much mind to the Cowboys' kicker situation right now. I think that they have other plans that include a veteran kicker somewhere down the line this offseason, someone that could possibly be released by another team, so it'll be interesting to see which way they go on that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out Michael Gelkin and Bobby Belt down below in the description. I love you all.